right, that's all done. So we just had a look on the old maps, um, trying to find some new park ups. So if you don't know roughly the area I'm in, um, I'm heading towards sort of Boston, sort of Lincolnshire. I'm only about sort of 12 miles from there. So I've just been at a place called Stickney. Literally, that could be it actually. I'll spin you See that um, windmill? There's a, I think that's Sibsey Wind, Windmill, which was famous. Um, might get the drone up when the wind drops. It's famous for a baby program. I can't remember what it was called now. Um, where a whole family lived in it. Um, baby Jake. Was it called Baby Jake? I can't remember. I'll have to Google it. Um, but if we get the drone up, we'll get a bit of footage. But yeah, not far from here is Bolingbrook Castle. It's, it's, just mainly ruins but um, I want to get the drone up round there as well so yeah just on maps I found this little local park it's literally three miles from where I was at that auto jumble um, so it's a bit of mess in the corner I'm gonna get the bin bag out and clean it up but it's a dead end road goes to a farm and it's um, the little village I'm in it's basically their uh, football ground <laughs> but um, yeah, it's huge car park. I saw it. I just only just found it. So that'll do me. So yeah, gonna just uh, take the dog for a walk. <coughs> and uh, yeah, lovely little green area. Can't go wrong. What's the sign say? Private property. No public right of way. Didn't say anything about camping. Warner in motorists, so. but yeah, should be fine. Here we go, Bolingbrook Castle. Um, it's quite a nice one, but parking's a nightmare here. <laughs> I was so lucky. I should want to go out. Look, a lovely couple moved the car for me. But yeah, it's a single track road to get to this, and there's like literally parking for two vehicles, if that. I've just got the drone up, so you'll see that footage. We're going to do a perimeter walk. And, uh, I'm just doing um, my practicing for search and rescue. So while I'm here, I've had the drone up, done an initial search. Uh, seeing as we haven't been doing much training lately. So I thought we'll come here and we'll test it out. So we've got all the lakes to sort of pretend to search. Got the moat that goes around. But yeah, it's a lovely old one. It's worth the trip here. This is called Bolingbrook Castle. It's sort of towards Boston, between Boston and Skegness. But um, yeah, we ain't got many in Lincolnshire. We've got the big famous ones like Lincoln Castle. But uh, yeah, we'll have a good look around. I'm not sure what that would have been because it's the outside. It almost looks like a chimney. Yeah, quite a lot of marshland here. It's all wet and tight, that's where you needed the drone. somebody had gone in there, you wouldn't see him from this angle, you'd see him more from the top. There we go. Gives you an idea of how tall it was. I haven't been here for many years, so I forgot what it looked like. As you can see, that's where I'm parked. <laughs> Just in the gateway, tiny out to it, loads of trees to get you. This is where we are, free one. English heritage. So, gonna get the dog out now. We're gonna search over there. There's like a big mound there. I'm not sure what that was. So, that's where we were. And there seems to be a great big mound over here. 
I wonder if there was like some sort of big hall or something over here. Or oh, this might have been earlier, or could be monastery. I'm not too sure, actually. Yeah, let's have a look here. This would give us a oh, same one. I want to know what this middle section is here. It's all banked up right round the outside edge, as you can see. And then like a structure in the middle. And it's got a moat round that as well. So maybe one was an old part of castle before the other one. I thought that was going to tell me. But you're going to have to Google. You can tell this isn't a, some sort of fact channel. Can <laughs> so, but uh, we'll find out. It shows it a little bit better. There's obviously an entrance in there, an entrance over there. Weird, don't know. Anyway, we'll get back to doing our sort of fake search. It's basically just trying to keep it fit as well. <laughs> we go on the inside. No, since I'm off. It's just a backup we do. So you did say Mount Holmes people. It's not a bad shelter place either, is it? It's funny enough, I said the same years ago when I. That's maybe what it was called, that other part. So there you go. Wait, don't you get down there. <laughs> there we go, that's the mystery. It was called Route Yard. That place over there. So we learn to me every time. So that was our parking. <laughs> and I've only just realised one problem. I can't turn right. And that's, I've just been down there, I should be able to make it. We'll get rid of a few trees. But I think coffee time now. Only one. You choose.
choose it, don't lose it, don't let confuse it. Only then you'll be gone. Feel like, feel like, feel like that. Feel like, feel like, feel like that. Centre. Um, it's where the dam busters are and stuff like that. Oh, saying that, I think I can see them in the distance. Anyway, yes, um, so I'm parked up back here. Uh, I'm going to stay here the night. It's good Wi Fi, it's plenty of road, and it's just up the road. It's where all them caravans are. There's like a uh, family being living here. Um, it's quite a used place. There's like even out here, you've got loads of lads pulled up. They're all wheeling and stuff down the, down the bikes. Um, but I love that. Don't bother me whatsoever. And um, they're all on the old runway. So there was a couple there, and then some others are pulled up on the bikes. But that's the sort of stuff I used to do years ago. Yeah. I think it was here, or it could have been somewhere near me. We used to do in the snow um, <laughs> about 80 mile an hour. Get a bonnet tied to the back of a truck, and he's going down the runways. Silly things we used to do. <laughs> So, yeah, just planning where to go tomorrow. I've got another couple of days. Wednesday, I'm meeting up with a chap who's going to have a look at my inverter. He's locally. So, yeah. And then the following week, I will be, if you're into your ham radios, stay tuned. Because the week after, I'm going to be filming back in this area. There's going to be Ham Fest, it's called, uh, at Thorpe Park. Um, it's Thorpe Camp, I think it's called. It's an old RAF camp, so I'm going to film around the camp. It's a great little camp. It's only open on a Sunday, uh, through the from now until summer. I think it's only sort of. I think it's only one till five. I think it said it used to be open all day, but it's all volunteer run. But they're doing Hamfest 
and it's from the 1st of May <coughs> and it's what is it it's open all day I think it's nine till five and they're having like stalls you can have all sorts of stuff there selling stuff so obviously mini me passing his license he's gonna be over the moon there <laughs> and I've got a feeling I might be skint <laughs> So, yeah, that'll be the next vlog. A little uh, insight for you there coming up. So, right, we're going to have a cup of coffee. I'm just going to tie the truck up and chill out. Shattered from all that walking this morning. Here we go. Back on the old airfield. Ooh, got gnats everywhere. Right, time to take this boat for a walk. Right, we're on the move. We're heading over to um, Coningsby now. You've seen that place, uh, it's at the airfield where the, all the big planes are taking off. Uh, I need to be in Coningsby tomorrow. Dropping off my inverter at 12, so brilliant. Gonna park up over there, it's only 10 miles from this spot. Um, park up in the visitor's car park. Watch the planes all day and all through tomorrow. <laughs> Lucky enough they don't start flying until about 10 in the morning. I've just heard them taking off in the distance, so it's just gone 10 now. So you can head over there and chill out and uh, watch a few planes. So not much going on, but out and about, that's one good thing. Right, we'll see right, you I've got a surprise for you. I'm just driving past where I was going to be, just around the station, and here we go. Look what we've got. So we've got the Spitfire out. Hello, Lancaster. Alright, we're going to have one break. Here we go, Coningsby. I didn't expect to see that out. Can you see? guys I've got right to the end of the runway so they can fly over flight path now so they're going to come flying over our heads and land and we could almost touch them so there's the runway here we go guys 
Yes, we've got one coming in. Right over our heads. <laughs> crash on me. <laughs> it's a bit of the last vlog. Crazy. Another one. Oh, there might be one more. There we go. Get one more for you. Like that's the end of the sort of vlog so just a bit of good news on just we saw just got parked up getting back flicks on so some good news um thanks to eric a friend of mine he gave me a guy's name to do my look at my um, inverter so i've just dropped that off at Conningsby, so literally where i was parked so he's going to have a good look at that for me. So hopefully, fingers crossed, we might have some good news. So I'm still not sure what to do with it yet. I don't know whether to sell it, which you probably need to <laughs> to get some money back from a new one. Um, so yeah, if anyone's on the mark, if if it's fixable, he's going to look at it all. Um, he opened it up when we opened it up there. He says I can't see any burn marks or anything, which is normally when they blow. He says if it blows. There will be indications as you pull it open, you'll see some like brown marks, some marks, and some smoke. So there's nothing in there. So he seems to think it could be just the fuses. So he's going to check it all, and hopefully, it doesn't cost a lot to get fixed. But yeah, I'll probably end up selling it. It's a, I'll put some details up when it comes to sell. But it's a 2000 watt Kaiser. It's German. Uh, I think retail sort of close to 600 quid. They they were you know I think they're a lot cheaper and I think they're four hundred something like that um, I'll look them up but um, yeah obviously I've already bought the energy one now um, I've gone for a bigger power because I'm going to run in a bigger system later on I thought well now's the time to buy it <coughs> I'm having big lithium so and then I want I have got plans for trying to fit a sort of commercial type washing machine in here um, you can get sort of smaller ones so obviously I want to you know eventually try and make everything off grid on here so I have a big solar power you know inverter to make sure I've got enough power and don't do that again so as I said I think it was because I had too much on at the same time I had the, my water heating system on which I, run, I can run off electric as well and that and the, and the coffee machine, mm, didn't like it. So hopefully it's just one of the fuses, there's six of them. No, there's nine in there. So yeah, I've just tra travelled back to Lauf and Jesus, I thought, well, I'm going to park halfway. I've got to park at some woods and sit there for the afternoon because I'm off back to work, park up for tonight, ready for tomorrow morning. And I thought, I'll go to my lorry park. It was rammed. I couldn't get anywhere near it. So I've just got some fuel and I've come out to the outskirts of Louth now and parts on a hill, um, another little spot. So yeah, just going to sit here for the afternoon now and watch Netflix, aren't we rocks? You, oh, can't see you. There you go. So you went walking out the door. <laughs> so you got the door wide open. Looking for bunny rabbits. That's all looking for bunny rabbits. That's it guys, thanks a lot. And um, yeah, the next vlog you'll be seeing will be from Hamfest. So, I've got the kids next weekend, so 
we're going to be filming there and uh, what we get up to in the weekend. All right, guys, thanks a lot. Like and subscribe. And when I get to 6,000, don't forget I've got giveaways coming up. Um, I'm trying to push it to get to 6,000. It's been a milestone for about a year. I've been stuck at this five about in the middle. Um, so, yeah, I've got the Orcs Beam um, strobe lights and I've got a uh, brand new diesel heater as well. Maybe one, maybe two, don't know yet. So, yeah. So you need to get liked and subscribed and then that's coming up any week now. I'm going to start pushing that. So, catch you guys later.